All right, here are the electronics for the M16 to the M3 half-track conversion. I'm using a FlySky FS i6X transmitter, an FS IA6B receiver, and some sort of a generic 20 amp electronic speed control that I found on Amazon and this was the stock battery that was in the half track so let's review what we got here I burned out the original motor that was in the half track what I did is I had connected the battery right to the motor apparently the original circuitry that was in here reduced the voltage to the motor because it did not take the 9.6 volts direct. So that was trashed. So I reverted back to what I originally had was something I took out of a th printer. Whenever I get rid of my printers and different systems I usually scavenge and save all the parts. It was slightly bigger in diameter, about a sixteenth of an inch bigger in diameter. So I cut the plastic saddle down and I bent out the heat sink a little bit, clamped it in place, made sure everything was aligned, and it works, it works. It's got a fairly good speed, not real fast, and I was very surprised with the slow speed on this. Very, works very well. So what I had to do is, I took the leads off the motor, and as you can see it here, I just made it a little bit longer, and I put a different style connector on, and I had to change the servo, this is the steering servo, and I had to change that to the, the standard radio control connector on the end, rather than that little white thing that they had on there. And went from the speed controller, we've got the switch to turn it on and off, and we've got the battery. So, use the same connector to mount into the battery. I have a box of them, quite convenient, you can buy these on, I believe it's Amazon. SIM and NAT 2-pin JST mail. Seaplane LiPo battery. And that's what it's got in the box. And it's got the male and female connectors. I have channel 1 going to the servo. And channel 1 gives me my steering left and right. I have channel 3 going to the speed controller which actually is the, goes to the motor and I have on my up and down for fast and slow. So I've got forward, neutral, reverse and left and right. Beyond that we've got off the speed controller we've got a switch that I need to mount inside turn everything on. Here you can see the lights blinking. Alright now we're ready to assemble the half track. Of course we've got our basic body, we've got the wires routed up through the front here underneath and tied to the frame and it might be a little bit visible from the side, I don't know, we'll see whenever we get everything assembled. If so, we can always cover that with uh, some black or green paint. And we've got the wires, this set we're not going to use because that's for the lights. Then we've got the servo wire, indicated by the three wires. This has been modified to go from the Toro wiring to a standard Vitaba type connector, a universal connector. And we've got the other wire that goes to the motor. So we're going to feed that up into the body. So what we've got here is the, the basic front body and frame. We've got the rear compartment flooring and side wall gas tanks. We have the outer wall. We have the new flooring, which I've got diamond plate in here or simulated by using some screening that I cemented down, cut the shape and cemented down and then I took some Tamiya putty 
and smooth it in there and of course it shrinks a little bit and just kind of really smooth it in let it shrink and then painted it I put the outside of the body the rear body on the bottom part and we're going to pull the wires for the motor and the steering servo through the right side where we have the electronics mounted and we're going to put the light wiring on the inside and we'll pull all of that up through here I already have the receiver pushed in place with the two antenna wire sticking through and we're going to fit that down right onto the frame pull everything looks like the frame is bottom out here to the body and the back of the body to the frame that's all set we've got our wires for our tail lights pulled through we need them and eventually if I want to do some wiring I can do that here later on so let's get the steering servo plugged in one antenna along the floor on the next to the passenger seat toward the front and the other antenna will go between the back of the seats and the rear part of the body and when you have a figure in there that's going to be covered that part up and that's a little black thing there who knows what it is could be some sort of a rubberized cover for a M1 Garand who knows whatever you want it to be all right so we've got all of that in there let's do a little test here we'll just plug the motor wiring together we'll plug the battery in and we'll just set that in here turn our transmitter on Turn our receiver on. Oh, steer got steering. Mm. Left turn, right turn, good. And we're going to see the tracks. Let's turn all of this off and continue on our assembly. All right, I've got the radio in place, and my speed controller in place, the power switch with the speed controller. I've got the, everything plugged in here, and we're going to put the flooring in. First, I've got to unplug our battery cable. Get that up through the flooring. And the motor. Now we've got our flooring in place. Now we 
can start putting our seating in. work for a living I was a test equipment designer and engineering would send us schematics and the specifications and so on and we'd have to figure out how and I would have to figure out how to put all of this together fit it in a certain size space and quite often we refer to that as trying to put 10 pounds of poop in a 5 pound bag. And sometimes a 2 pound bag. Except we didn't use the word poop. covering up the wiring so we'll just put our false seat in here and three and I gotta do the other side and get my little 50 cal pedal still off back on that I popped off there and then we'll be set for the next set of detailing on this which is going to be basically putting the stars on here all right the next step we'll be applying the decals to the half track in this case I'll be applying the three stars the one on each side and one on the back I buy my own decal paper and follow the process for making decals on my inkjet printer. I've got the stars cut out and I've got the places there where I want to place the stars identified with a little piece of tape on the side of the half track. And these are water slide decals. Let me just take a few seconds here to activate the release and here we go we're just going to offset it from the backing paper place the star on the model make sure it's aligned smooth it out no bubbles underneath it then we'll proceed on to the next one and then we'll let this just dry for maybe a half a day dry out thoroughly and then we'll spray it with some testers clear coat probably about three or four layers of that here you see the stars are installed
So here you can see how I've compacted all of the electronics in here into this one side. I've got the switch, which is part of the electronic speed control, the receivers over here, and all the wiring. So to turn the receiver on, basically it's flipping and turn it off, we'll just flip it back. All right, now that I have everything installed, I'm going to cover this up. And I've made some rolled up canvas pieces out of some old linen handkerchiefs that were worn. Uh, rolled them up, tied them, and soaked them in a little bit of wood glue and water. Let them dry and then paint them. Put some toothpicks in them to hold them in place. And we'll just place that in there on that side. And the other side I made some tent poles. I made center tent poles that are long. And I made some side tent poles that are shorter. And we're just going to drop them in here in the side compartment. like so and they won't fall out and we can always garnish this a little later with some other things such as some some rope and perhaps some radio gear added some cable to the spool here which was basically some nylon string that i painted with some silver paint and then smeared some black paint in rubbed in a little bit so that it brought the details out a little bit and made a little hook for the end of it and uh, that finishes up everything here so there we have our M3 US Army half track converted from the Toro M16 multiple gun carriage mm -hmm.